Mira, you can just copy the URL. No, I think it's not copied. Can we copy the whole content? It's just facebook.com. I can type it in. Yeah, maybe. It should. Yeah, that's fantastic. Just type Facebook. Pretty good. Click OK. Now create Instagram. We may have to copy the URL, right? See a link. All right. Maybe you have to drop the Facebook. Very good. Save. Now click the link in the social drop down, select Facebook. You, you really develop a corporate one, yeah? What What's that? that? Yeah, it's a corporate website you created. Morning. <coughs> if you do a project, you are going to get a lot of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All fantastic now, right? Let's create last one. Create a news. To create a subsite called a news. All right. Give it a URL name and news. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Click your main site. Welcome to Monic site. Get an edit link. Create a link. Let's create first NY Times, which is a New York Times. And just copy the address from Google. New York Times. Yeah. All right. But click that one. Yeah. Okay, now type BBC.
very good. Let's save now. And now you have to drop. Site. So you have a main site where user can upload a document. If user need to work with IBM, they can click IBM. And when he click IBM, he get a different site because with IBM, they can have a discussion. You want to work with Microsoft, they have a Microsoft. If they want to use the social media, they can go to a social menu. If they want to read a morning news, they can go back to the news. So let's click a news and let's see if the link is working. Good. So within your SharePoint, Within your SharePoint, what you did, you have basically configure all your services. You have link to external site as well. So maybe you can go back to a central administration site Not here, maybe uh, already open in, I think, first tab is a top level site successfully created. Yes. Go back to your application management. And what you have to do, you have to now remove the site collection. So click delete a site collection here. All right, you say that which site do you want to delete? Click site collection, change the site collection. Maybe you can select my blog, I do not need, all right, and hit okay. Click delete, click okay. Go to view all site collection. Yes, the site has been removed. So it means that the SharePoint interface, it's such an easy interface. Everything you get, just like a drag and drop, select and perform, no command you have to type here. Right now, we are not typing any command, any any kind of a black and white screen. So easy interface. We are just going to use our imagination, how we want to use this SharePoint in our own organization. And SharePoint let you a very simple interface to perform all kind of a fancy tasks which you need to do, which you which you want to do. So what exactly we did so far? Let's now summarize. What we did, Moni, we first do a setup of my SharePoint. So now you understand all different component which need to deploy in order to SharePoint to work. So what all we did here? Are you able to reclick the steps? First, we create a server, right? Mm -hmm. 
correct now. So first what we do, we create two VM. Then we install AD plus DNS on VM1. Then we create users in AD. Fourth, we install SQL twenty fourteen on VM two, and then. We assign admin role to user SP admin and other services. You remember, we right click every user and we go to properties and then we configure the role, right? Mm -hmm. And once we've done that, then we install SharePoint prerequisites. So there is a specific tool which we use, which is going to install the prerequisite of SharePoint. And once we have, then we go and install SharePoint And what we exactly installed? We install single server form, right? So in the single server, I have included every role. So it means that if I see my current scenario, I have a two server, one server, where I have installed Active Directory role, Another server where we have installed SQL plus plus by the point. And this is how the whole thing works. This is the installation part. Second, what we did, then we create first an application service or an app within the SharePoint what this app service does or you can say a web app service does it going to configure a database in a SQL and what the database name It's a WSS content. Who does that? Where we configure app service. So it is going to create a database in the SQL server with the name WSS content. Database in SQL. So when I come back to my server, when you actually go and check, it is going to show you that it has a database, another database with the name WSS content. How this was created? When we actually configure this web application. Right? So what the web application is going to do? It is going to create a database. What the web application, another thing it is going to do, it is going to create a website on port 80. So it means that when I come back and when I check my internet or IIS manager, I'm able to see that 
it has one website which is running on port 80 and this is the same name exactly it is us and then what it does apart from this it is also going to uh, store the information about this application configuration into c drive inet pub so in a c drive you have a folder called inet pub and then within this folder i have a subfolder called www root and within that it is going to store all the information about whatever the site collection you supposed to create so it means that when i go to a c drive in a c drive i am able to see a folder called inet pub and now when you click this folder you get another folder called www root and within this folder you get your was when you click that one this is what the virtual directory you have and within that you have this port 80 and within this port 80 whatever you configure everything is here so this web app service basically play a very important role once my sharepoint installed because it is going to allow me to run all my site site content or all my site collection on this port 80. And then what we did that, within this app service, we have configured multiple site collection. So we have created a different site collection. So we have site collection one, and we have a site collection two. So what this application service is going to hold, they are going to hold multiple site collection. And the moment I create a site collection, the moment I create a site collection, what will happen that in this SharePoint, it is also going to add your site collection into this specific configuration. It is going to store the information about your site collection in this directory. Every time when you create a site collection, this directory within the directory it is going to create some new kind of a service. And it also going to create a table in the SQL within this database. So every site collection is going to have a table in the database within this database and every site collection also going to configure their own information in this particular website which is created by my app service so as many site collection you are going to create as many tables it is going to add it into this database and as many site collection you are going to create, as many folder it is going to create within this website. And same time, information also is stored here. All these three are very important parts. So if anything is crashed, if anything is deleted, you gone. Everything is important here. And then within the site collection, what you does, you basically create the hierarchy of the site. So you have a site, and within the site, you have a subsites. Subsite one, subsite two, subsite three. So we create a site, a main site, and within the main site, we also create multiple subsite. We can also have a subsite. And then within the subsite, within the subsite, we also create a link. So this is basically going to give me how this SharePoint exactly look like. So you have a link one, you have a link two, you have a link three, and so on. And then we understand that how we are going to modify the site 
by using the site library or sub site library so every site and sub site they have their own site library and using this site library we are going to control how my site will look like so this is what the crux of the whole things which we have done today right mm -hmm. yes monique all good so now this server which we have created monique it need to be shut down properly because we have to use the same server tomorrow as well nothing need to be crash so let it close everything now at this point of time we got this server created in microsoft azure which is a pay as you go service so let's shut down it click the start button and say shut down I'm going to shut down this server now. It says shut down. Thank you very much. So when you shut down the server, Microsoft is not going to charge any money from you except except the hard disk charges. So I have my one server which I have shut down. Which one? A VM one. So we have to also connect this server, and we also have to do a proper shutdown. So let me have this IP copy. Go to remote. Going to split that one. So what are you sir? Can you type your username, uh, Moniki? I think it's a your domain name slash sp admin, which is the username. Password, which is password at the rate password one two three four. You have to remember. Yes, say yes. All right, so close this Active Directory and shut down this server as well. So click the Start button. And hit the shutdown. Hit shutdown. And new. All right. So server need to be shut down in a very proper fashion. Now go back to virtual machine again. On top, you see a virtual machine. Uh, not here. Not here. Uh, in a portal, the Azure portal, click the virtual machine on top. You have a home and then a virtual machine. Now look at that. Even if you shut down the server, what it is saying? Running, correct now? Status? Look at that, the status. It is still saying running, running. Mm -hmm. Because Microsoft Azure says that until and unless you do not give me a proper instruction, your server might be shut down, but still whatever the RAM and CPU you are engaging with me, that I am going to keep charging. So we have to also stop the server from the portal itself. So click the server one first, which is the ADVM. All right. Now you get an option called a stop. Yes. 
Now, when you stop it, then only you are going to get that. Click yes. Yes, I want to stop Mr. Microsoft Azure. Do the same thing with the second server. This pin here. So click the stop. Okay. Yes. In dry morning today. What's that? Did you enjoy? Yeah. Wonderful. So tomorrow we are going to see something more exciting inside SharePoint. All right. All righty. Awesome. Thank you, Vipin. Thank you, sir. Monique, I All had right. that terrible issue of being